Welcome to the annual 2024 football awards show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just like every year, ladies and gentlemen, if you do win an award, make sure you hold to that thing tight because Messi could come and steal it. So let's not waste any time and look at the nominations. First nomination, the aura of the season. First on the list, Kylian Mbappe doing a comeback against Argentina. Obviously tying up the game, making Messi fans cry themselves to sleep almost. Second nomination, ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Dos Santos for doing the Tiger. <laughs> Celebration after scoring a goal that that did something to me I cannot even explain it. Third nomination yet again. Wow, Anthony Dos Santos for the substitution of the century ladies and gentlemen. 10 million plus aura was given to him by the football journalists. Look oh Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Do you guys feel it? Do you guys feel that? Aura! Fourth nomination, Antonio Dos Santos yet again! For taking off his shirt and this aura material he gave us. After winning the FA Cup. Obviously, he did not play a single minute in that game. So ladies and gentlemen, the winner has been decided and the winner of Aura of the Year goes to Anthony Dos Santos substitution against Arsenal FC doing the stair. Come here, Anthony. Why, why, why are you spinning? God damn it, just go. First award have been given, ladies and gentlemen, and now we move on to the second award. The respect moment of the season. First nomination on the list. Oh my god. Anthony Dos Santos, ladies and gentlemen, for showing respect to the rivals after United scoring a goal. What a humble guy, man. Second nomin- Oh my god, Anthony Dos Santos! He Oh, this was a beautiful, respectful moment. Obviously, this moment was after Pele passed away and Anthony showing off under his shirt before the game. Maybe because he knew that he wouldn't score. <laughs> and his instincts wasn't wrong. I mean, he did not score until the end of the season, which he had won Premier League. <laughs> third on the... Oh my God, third nomination, Anthony Dos Santos. Oh, oh this moment. Anthony Dos Santos showing off Sonic the Hedgehog. A tribute, a special shout out to Sonic the Hedgehog. Obviously because Sonic the Hedgehog is the fastest player of all time. And since Anthony came bursted into the scene, he took over Sonic being the fastest character in football in the world and in fictional history and he just gave him the respect for overtaking him obviously last but not least another united ex legend you could say a legend doing the respect and not stepping on the real madrid badge <laughs> why was he apologizing after that i genuinely don't know myself but ladies and gentlemen the winner is in ladies and gentlemen and the winner of the respect moment of the year award goes to Ooh. Anthony Dos Santos for showing off Sonic the Hedgehog after surpassing his speed. Come on, Anthony! Oh boy, you just dominating the <laughs> third category. Skill of the season. First on the list, we have Real Madrid's new player. Look at <laughs> ending this brother's career. Oh my god, Real Madrid will have that! God damn, that just made me depressed. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Unbelievable skill and the assist to Dembele. Finally, a nomination that's not Anthony Dos Santos. Second skill move, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, doing the bridge there and then this beautiful skill. 
recently in the final against Dortmund, Real Madrid versus Dortmund. What? A, let me see. A, let no. Oh. <laughs> Vinicius. What a nutmeg from Vinicius Jr. That was a beautiful skill, which then led to the corner actually. And that corner which led to the goal for Real Madrid from the Carvajal header and the Toni Kroos assist. So that also contributed to a goal. Strong, strong competition. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Cristiano Ronaldo, third on the moment. Third, oh, we have two from Ronaldo, okay. Go, Ronaldo. Maybe it's this one that's nominated. Go, Ronaldo. That was a clear, clear penalty in my opinion, but anyways, <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo showing that he is not washed up yet, that age is just a number. Last nomination is... <laughs> Should I even do this one? <laughs> Should I even do this one? <laughs> Antonio Dos Santos, come take your goddamn award. That was goddamn beautiful. The nicest, nicest, nicest pin I have ever seen in my entire goddamn life. A unique move. Unlike the two others or the three others, we saw those moves. A lot of players already did it. But that is Anthony's signature move and we do respect that. Anthony Dos Santos, ladies and gentlemen. Wow! Three awards for Anthony. Damn! Next category, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Embarrassing moment of the year. Manchester United obviously losing to Crystal Palace and then having their stadium being goddamn leaked. The dressing room being leaked and just uh, Old Trafford just goddamn drowning right there. Second nomination as you guys see on the screen is a Barcelona <laughs> being a City fan to a Bayern fan. To a Dortmund fan, as you can see, buying their kits, wasting their money, and at the end, it didn't even matter because Real Madrid won the Champions League <laughs> and the league, and they're buying Mbappe and Davies. And you're probably not going to touch the Champions League in the next decade, which is goddamn embarrassing. <laughs> Third nomination, ladies and gentlemen, is Arsenal fans. That's it. But one particular moment is this, right? Yeah, I see it full time. Has he blown the whistle? Yeah. Yes! Come on! <laughs> well done, Arsenal. It's not a win, but it's a fucking good effort. Oh. I take it. It's not a win, but it's a good effort. <laughs> How is that embarrassing? Because they were battling to win the Premier League against Manchester City. And this match, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the season, the match that they should have won, the match that they needed to win, they drew, and the fans were actually happy. Because at least we had some goddamn effort. <laughs> at least we tried. It's fine. Flowers take time to blossom. You need some time. You're a loser now. But in time, you might make it. And fourth nomination, ladies and gentlemen, is this clip right here. They thought I was finished, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Now, you might see it as a cold edit or a cold quote from Van Dijk. Ladies and gentlemen, after he said that he bot they bottled the Premier League, they bottled the FA Cup, and they did not give a farewell to Jurgen Klopp, the manager that stayed loyal to them for the past decade. And the best manager for that team for the past decade. Unfortunately, Van Dijk, after you saying that, you became finished and washed. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, the award goes to... Virgil Van Dijk, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Van Dijk, come here. I mean, it's the only major trophy you're winning this year. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, next category. Goal of the season. Oh, this is a very hard one. First nomination is Harry Kane, ladies and gentlemen, who scored this beautiful goal from the midway line. What a beautiful goal that was. 
Unfortunately, no trophy is yet for Harry Kane. Second nomination is from the Italian league, Inter Milan, De Marco, who scored an almost similar goal. But oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what a beautiful goal that was. You know, I don't know if he wanted to cross there and his, his aim was just so bad that it went inside the goal, luckily. But uh, <laughs> third nomination, ladies and gentlemen, Alejandro Garnacho's bicycle kick. Oh my God. Just like his idolo, just like... Cristiano Ronaldo, a beautiful bicycle kick, and then he hits the sur on them as well. Fourth nomination, ladies and gentlemen, of Valverde's beautiful volley against Manchester City. Oh boy, a deciding, a very important goal for Real Madrid to go on the next round as well. Goal of the season award goes to... Ooh. Not being biased. Alejandro Garnacho, come get your award, boy. What a beautiful goal. Just like the guy you look up to, Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, boy, is getting late, ladies and gentlemen. Last category of the night. Meme of the season. First nomination on the list, ladies and gentlemen. Arsenal winning the game, obviously. Arsenal, uh, United, looking for some options to save us. Who is coming in? Oh boy, Antonio Dos Santos. Superman, you could say. Batman, you could say. Oh, what a goddamn meme. Obviously went viral everywhere. Second nomination of the meme of the season goes to another United player. Andre <laughs> Onana. <laughs> At the start of the season, he was the biggest meme, ladies and gentlemen. He was that guy that went viral. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, who invited my blood? Oh, oh my god. The Zumba class and the yoga class one. Oh. Third nomination, ladies and gentlemen. Bad boys? Bad boy? Bad boy? No, 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 no. Bad boy. Ah, bad boy. <laughs> Messi finally speaking English for the first time in his life and he sounded like a goddamn minion out there Like just say bad boy. It's, it's not that hard. Bad boy. I mean <laughs> And last nomination is Cristiano Ronaldo <laughs> in a cup final doing all the religious <laughs> All the religious moves uh, just calling all the religions and yet he still lost the penalty shootout and then he cried at the end, which was sad. Um, <laughs> Meme of the season award goes to... This is shocking, but Andre Onana, ladies and gentlemen. Because... Why not Anthony? Because Andre Onana, ladies and gentlemen, he carried us from the start until the middle, ladies and gentlemen. While Anthony was just a part in the end. So Andre Onana, come get your award, god damn it. <laughs> oh, and that's it. We're running out of time, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to the 2024 award show, ladies and gentlemen. Football award show, ladies and gentlemen. Something for you guys to get entertained, I guess. <laughs> Subscribe if you're new, ladies and gentlemen. Like the video. Comment down if anyone got robbed here or anything rigged that happened. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> See you in the next episode.